Good morning. It's Maundy Thursday. Now this isn't what you might be thinking. It is not Monday and Thursday at the same time as some were prone to believe when they were children. Maybe myself. No, Maundy comes from the Latin mandatum, which means commandment. And that's talking about Jesus's command for us to love one another. Because Maundy Thursday is the day that Jesus celebrated his last supper with his disciples. In John 13, it says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and they had come from God, and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Then he washed the disciples' feet. He shared the Last Supper with them. He predicted that Judas would betray him, and then he gave his commandment. John 13, 34, he said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for serving us, for wrapping that towel around your waist, stooping low to show amazing grace. Thank you for being willingly betrayed and going to the cross. And I ask that you to fill our hearts with your love to pour out to others. Amen. Now we're going to sing and then we're going to pray a special prayer at the end of this. We're going to sing a song about God's love. There's many great songs. This is one that I love by the Gettys that we've sung some at FBC Farmersville. And it's called Magnificent, Marvelous, Matchless Love. Matchless love, too vast and astounding to tell. Forever existing in worlds above, now offered and given to all. O fountain of beauty eternal, the Father, the Spirit, the Son, sufficient and endlessly generous. Magnificent, marvelous. Creation is brimming with faithfulness, the mountains exult and they stand. The seasons rejoice in your faithfulness, our life is sustained with your hand. You crown every meadow with color, you paint every shade in the sky. Each day the dawn waves as an encore. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love. How great, how sure his love endures forevermore. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love. What grace that you Entered our brokenness, you came in the fullness of time. How far we had fallen from righteousness, but not from the mercies of Christ. Your cross is our door to redemption, your death is our fullness of life. That day, how forgiveness flowed as a flood. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love. How great, how sure His love endures forevermore. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love. United in us to infinite heights. Could anything 
Just take a moment and thank Jesus for his love. Now take a moment and ask for him to fill you with his love for the people you're spending time with right now, your family, and then also pray for an unexpected opportunity to serve and love someone today. Go in Christ's love today.